Hey everyone, Gradius here. This is the video for translations with points. So before, um, you should have watched the video that's just called translations or translations with graphs. Um, so it shows you just what the basic concept of the translation is. And then uh, once you get that down, then you should definitely, then this would be the correct video to be on. So uh, when talking about translations, um, what we're talking about, we're talking about sliding a figure up and down or left and right on a graph. So here is a coordinate plane right here. Okay, and then what I have for this particular graph is I have what's called a pre-image right now. So this right here is my starting figure. So this is my pre-image. Okay, so what I want to do from here is what we did in the past is, sorry, my pen's not working very well, is we need to figure out a way to, uh, if we wanted to translate this, we're going to take this image, we're going to slide it left and right, up and down based on what we're told. And where we're going to resu the resulting image of where the new figure is is going to be called the image. Okay. Now, when we slide it, it's going to actually end up being the same exact shape. So let's just say I wanted to I wanted to move um, three right and two down. So let's go three to the right and two. I'm just going to put an arrow down. Okay. So if I want to move that image, what I'm going to do is I would need to move each point three to the right and two down. So this point right here, we need to move one, two, three, one, two. So I need to put this corner of my graph, one, two, three to the right and two down. So if I were to do that, my new image would be here. And then what, what's happened is that's happened with all my other, I'm gonna change the colors here, is that's happened with all of my other points. This has naturally moved over one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, and this one moved over one, two, three, one, two. So all of my points move over so the exact same figure, the exact same shape, and um, I did. I performed a translation of three to the right and two down. Okay. Now, one thing that I did not talk about in our last video that, that's really important is that to so say a lot of times when we're doing this, these points um, of your pre-image each point is given a value. So you might have like value A, B, C, and D. So then when we have our new image, so this is our pre-image, with our image, now what we do to show what point matches up with which, we put the same letter, but we add this little, it looks like an apostrophe up there. Okay, so this becomes a prime. That apostrophe means prime. Okay, that's just showing us here's our image, this is my pre-image. So this would be what the new B came to be, so B prime. This is where my new C point is. I'm going to put that little tick mark on the top. And this is where the new D is. I'm going to put that little tick mark on the top. Okay, so pre-image, and then here is my image. Okay, so that's kind of what we went over in the previous video. Now, um, what I want to look at is what happens if we don't actually have the graph. Sometimes you're just going to be given ordered pairs. Okay, and we need to apply the transformation given this specific notation. So. What we're asking here is actually, you know, and I don't even want to, I don't even want to look at these ones right now. Okay, let's ignore these, and I just want to look at this column and this column. Is I want to perform translations with this particular. I want to perform this particular translation with each one of these points, and I want to perform this translation with each one of these points. Now. This is how we're going to see it when we're not looking at a graph. Sometimes it's not going to tell you move left and right, up or down. It's just going to tell you, hey add to or subtract five from a specific point, And that's the translation we want you to do. So because our ordered pairs are in X and Y, so here's my X, here's my Y. This particular translation is telling me to add two to my X and subtract five from my Y. And that's all I need to do. I just need to do some math. Okay, it's telling me, please add two to your X value, subtract five from your Y value. So it's telling me to move right and to move down. This is right two and down five. The reason why it's right and down, if I'm adding two to my x, if we look here, this is my x, my x's are here. If I'm adding two, that means I'm moving, adding two, I'm moving right. Okay, and if I'm subtracting five from my y, I'm moving down because the y is a vertical. So what we would do here is I would just look at my ordered pair. I have two, two. So I'm going to take x plus two, so that's going to be four because two plus two is four. And 2 minus 5 is negative 3. And there's my new ordered pair after performing this translation. It moved right and down. So now the new point of the image is going to be 4, negative 3. 
And I would just do that with all of these. Add 2, so I'll get 4, subtract 5, and I'll get negative 1. Okay, for negative 3, 4, negative 3, 2. So now I'm adding 2. So negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. If I'm subtracting 5 from 4, again, we just did that, and that gives me negative 1. And if I add 2 to negative 3, I get negative 1 again. And then if I'm, add, if I'm subtracting 5 from 2, I should get negative 3. Okay, so that's all we're doing. So whenever you see uh, it's asking you to perform a transformation, so some type of manipulation of our figure, it's asking you to perform a transformation. What we're trying to do is we're just sliding, and it says plus or minus on your y and x. It's just saying slide, slide it and slide it. Okay, slide it up, up and down, slide it left and right. So take a look at this one, right? this transformation right here. Okay, this transformation is a translation. Okay, it is translating because we're adding or subtracting. Okay, because I'm subtracting three, I want you guys to kind of think about which way I'm moving. Am I moving left, right, up and down? And when my y is adding one, am I moving up and down, up or down, left or right? So subtracting three on my x means I'm moving to the left three, and adding one to my y means I'm moving up one. So that's what I'm going to do to each one of these points. So for two two, I'm going to get two minus three is negative one. Hey, Virginia, uh oh. Can you please call Look at that. Sanina needs me. Okay. So sorry about that. So 2 minus 3 is negative 1, and then 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay, and then we would do the same thing for all these. Go ahead and fill out this rest of this table, and I'll go ahead and fill it out real quick as well. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to. 2 minus 3 right here. Again, it's going to give me negative 1. And then if I'm adding 1 to 4, I'm going to get 5. And just, just to go real quick here, I'm going to get negative 6. 5, and I'm also going to get negative 6, 3. Okay, so now that's all we're going to be doing. So if you have the pre-image, so we now let's look at the language of how this is going to look like. So the pre-image of a point is at 2, 3, and is put under translation of, and here's my translation. Okay, so we want to know what the image is of the point after the translation. So the pre-image, this is what we start with. This is what happens to it. We want to know what we end up with because an image is what we end up with. Okay, so if I have 2, 3, okay, I need to first, I want to ask myself, is this going left, right, up, and down? Because my x is subtracting, means I'm moving left and right on the x-axis. So I'm going to go left, and I'm also going down. Okay, now I'm really just doing 2 minus 3, and I'm doing 3 minus 2. Okay, and that gives me negative 1. This is my new image, negative 1, 1. All right, now I'm going to skip this one right here. Sometimes you're going to be given uh, two points here. Okay, so now I'm giving a line segment. A line segment is just a line that comes to an end. It has one point on one end and one point on the other end. And this line segment happens to be FG. Okay, so here are the point values of F and G. Uh, for F, it's negative 2, 4. And for uh, g, it's negative 2, negative 3. So what's gonna, what we're asking you to do is perform a transformation, this transformation right here. So because I'm adding and subtracting from x and y, that means I'm just sliding it to the left. And I'm also sliding my image up. You could graph these points and perform this transformation if you wanted to. Or we could just... Subtract 2 from both of these points and add 4 to both of these values. That's exactly what we're going to do. And then that's going to give us our new image, f prime and g prime. Okay, so negative 2, 4. If I subtract 2, I'm just subtracting 2 from here. That's going to give me the point of negative 4. And then I'm adding 4 here. And that's going to give me 8. And then g prime, I'm doing the same thing, negative 4, 1, because negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1. Okay, and that's all I got for you guys. We don't need to do any more examples. They're the same stuff. So I hope this video helps. Remember, if it's 
when we're sliding, if we're just subtracting or adding to our X and Y, that means we're sliding left and right or up and down. It's a translation. So that's all you need to do with your points. Just add or subtract to the points. Hope this video helped. Have a, and uh, good luck, guys.